Hi, Neil Hansen here. I want to talk to you a little bit about New Year's resolutions and setting goals. It's a big time of year for people to set New Year's resolutions and revisit their health and wellness goals. And of course, in my studio, we've got clients who are re revisiting their weight loss goals. And the reality is only 10, maybe 5 to 10% of people will actually accomplish their goals. And if they get there, very few people actually stick with them. The same would be for quitting smoking, changing your diet, uh, or any other habits you want to change. And there's a good reason for that. And it's not about willpower. It's not about setting up a proper action plan, although those things can help, um, especially if you're doing things in a group and having support and stuff like that. But eventually those things wear thin and people end up right back where they are. The reason being is that the way our brain is wired causes us to take actions long term or not. And what I mean by that is most most people are trying to set a goal, change something about themselves, set a New Year's resolution, because they are seeing something that's unfavorable, like right? their body weight or smoking or something like that. And there's emotion wrapped around that. When you have emotion wrapped around um, something bad, it's, um, it's an indication of your focus about that subject. It doesn't mean that you don't have a preference. And that's a great thing about our life is that when we feel bad, uh, that's something that's, that's important to us. It's a subject of something that we want differently. Uh, however, the more attention and, and focus we give to the very subject that we don't want, the more wired it becomes into our brain and thus affecting our subconscious. And our subconscious drives the majority of how we act on a day-to-day -day basis. 90% of what we do on a day-to-day -day basis is run by our subconscious. Brushing your teeth, opening doors, walking up and down stairs. Uh, almost everything that we do is driven by our subconscious. So a lot of the things that we think we're being conscious about is largely affected or influenced by our subconscious. And again, our subconscious is influenced by the things that we focus on dominantly and the things that we have a lot of emotion wrapped around gets wired in even harder. So when you want to lose weight because you're disappointed about the way that you look or you feel guilty about smoking or you feel guilty about eating sugars, things of that nature, the, the reality is it's very difficult to change those when you still have emotion wrapped around those. So the best way to start setting a goal or New Year's resolution or, or the first step in getting to the proper way of, of guaranteeing or at least setting yourself in the right direction of being able to accomplish something, having a better chance of accomplishing something long term, is to make peace with where you are. And I've talked about that a lot in recent posts. And what I mean by making peace is to remove the negative emotions from the very thing that you're trying to change. Uh, what that does, it disassociates it from you. And then that allows you to focus on what that has helped you determine you would prefer. So it's great to have something that you've identified as uh, something you want to eliminate from your life. Life helps you determine you don't like certain food. Guess what? It helps you realize what foods you do like and appreciate. Same thing with relationships or really anything in life. You don't like the way that you look, guess what? Your health and the way that you look and feel are very important to you. But the more you give dominant attention and focus to the very thing you don't want, the stronger it becomes and the more your brain's wired to do that. That's why taking action to change it is actually incongruent. You're seeing a fat body that you don't want, but you're trying to take action that a healthy, lean person would take. So those images don't really match. What you're seeing in your mind and the actions don't support each other. Uh, especially when you have emotion there. So when you were to make peace with your body, it's really just accepting where you are and looking and understanding that most of the things that you've done, most of the places you end up, if you look at as feedback, is based on something you didn't really truly understand. If you really hadn't considered the way that you had focused and the energy you've given to something before, it led you exactly where you are. So it's not about uh, your identity. And it's not necessarily about... Um, something about who you are, it might have just been about uh, knowledge, something that you didn't really understand fully. So I hope this video lends itself into giving you the permission to let yourself off the hook a little bit here and understand that where you are is exactly where you're supposed to be. You just didn't know that your focus and energy and attention to the very thing you didn't want kept you right where you are. And the fact that you failed before is because you were trying to eliminate the very thing you didn't want. So make peace with where you are. 
understand that where you are is exactly where you should be. You just didn't know any better. And what that's going to allow you to do is to detach the emotion, and it'll change the way it's wired in your brain. And that'll give you the opportunity to start looking forward to what it is that you actually do want, and then you can start to add in the emotion of why you would want that. What would that provide for you in your life that you don't have now? And as you get into the emotional aspect of that, you're actually adding depth. And that will actually help wire that, the goal that is, into your brain. And then the actions that you take will be a greater match. Eating well, eating clean, um, and exercising, things of that nature will match the vision that you have in your brain. So I hope that helps you in organizing your New Year's resolutions and goals and helping you get to and maintain the body that you want and deserve. Thanks for watching.